Mummies, Secrets and Science, features human and animal mummies, tomb artifacts and funerary objects, and materials used in the mummification process. It explains the ancient Egyptian belief in an afterlife and the complex funerary practices they developed over thousands of years. Did you know there are natural mummies and artificial mummies? This is a 5,500-year-old natural mummy preserved by the dry desert sand. At first, the earliest Egyptian mummies occurred naturally. Bodies were placed in shallow graves in the desert. The combination of the hot sun, dry climate, and sand-filled graves caused the bodies to dry out and become preserved. The ancient Egyptians noticed this natural preservation and over many centuries developed artificial ways of improving upon the same effect. Here we have several artificial mummies, both human and animal, preserved with natron, a type of salt, and then wrapped in linen bandages. The artificial mummification process took about 70 days. First, the internal organs, with the exception of the heart, would be removed. The intestine, liver, lungs, and stomach were placed inside canopic jars. The lids of these containers were often decorated with the heads of four protective gods. Human guarded the liver. The ape protected the lungs. The hawk watched over the intestines. And finally, the jackal guarded the stomach. The heart was left in place because the ancient Egyptians believed that after a person died, he or she was subject to a final judgment. The heart would be placed on a scale opposite a feather, a symbol of truth and goodness. The body would be preserved in salt, then washed and anointed with precious oil and spices. Then the wrapping would begin. Many prayers were recited and rituals took place. Gold jewelry and semi-precious stones were placed on the body and covered by the bandages for protection. The head and face were often covered by a mask that resembled the deceased. Gold paint on the mask imitated the flesh of the gods, which they thought to be made of solid gold. The mummy would then be placed in a coffin and finally laid to rest in the tomb.